don't move. Keep your hands where I can see them. You came a long way just to see little old me. Why? You're looking for what? Stories. If you say so. Such things have little value. So, I'll only charge you for my time. I was maybe three or four years old when the bombs fell. I don't remember much from before that. But I remember the smiles. Smiles that faded like the sun behind a cloud of ash. My parents tried to keep us away from the war. But over time, things changed. The old world's economy crumbled. The European government, or whatever's left of it, stopped maintaining the electrical grids and water pipes. Resources became scarce. A lot of people enlisted just to put food on the table. None of them ever came back. I thought I recognized a European soldier once. A kid I had grown up with. He looked straight through me, like I didn't even exist. I wanted to say his name, but I couldn't remember it. And I think that if I had, he would have killed me for knowing who he was. Eventually, people figured out that enlisting is little better than death. You might get to keep breathing for a few more weeks, but you don't bring your humanity back with you from the battlefield. Over time, there were fewer and fewer opportunities to put food on the table unrelated to the war. Why struggle to grow crops in barren soil with irradiated water when one good part off a broken mech could have you set for months? People born after the bombs have no conception of life without the war. That's why they worship it. It feeds them, clothes them, gives them purpose. To them, a hail of bullets is like a gentle rain, a twisted lullaby. And if a stray bullet finds its way through the cracks, well, then one lucky bastard might get to leave the war early. What was that? Did you hear that? We've been here too long. Something is coming.